Okay. Feels like nothing has changed. And I'm just being honest here. Because um, I do follow up with your readings every day. When I say nothing has changed, I'm still reading for the same energy, same group who's wanting to have a reconciliation. Because the first card right away is temperance. Now, having the temperance here in this particular, it looks like you were optimistic before. But as the days have progressed, you know, haven't heard back from them or, you know, you guys have a conversation, but it didn't really lead to anything. So slowly, you're feeling a little bit down. Like, oh, I don't think it's going to work out really. Uh, I feel like this is it. Now, I don't want you to be all excited, but there is someone who's going to reach out. Because I do see here, Knight of Swords. So Scorpios, let's see what you guys have for me. My name is Sal, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. I do your predictions here every day with your romantic connection, you know, love, relationship, your career, your finances. So make sure you hit the bell and subscribe so you're always up to date. There's also an extended reading to this for today, which means I will continue the remaining part of the read in the description box below. I also teach here how to manifest. I do have a five-star jewelry store here where I teach people how to use crystals and metals, different kinds of metals, to manifest their dreams. Today, we're also going to discuss uh, the mysterious number 1111. Are you one of those people who have seen it like in your phone, in the car, in the billboard, or just randomly you see it? We're going to touch the subject today because I have something special for you. Knight of Swords, it's them. So I'm going to put this to a side. Because right away, I know it's the same kind of energy that I'm picking up for the past days. Is, uh, it could be an air sign. You have a Sag over here. It feels like they're rushing to explain themselves to you to clear the air. Now, this is going to be like how things can just turn around like fast. That conversation, the moment that you guys have a talk, I mean, it be text or call, it will change everything, the dynamics of the relationship because you will reply. How you reply, you can change the outcome. Okay, let's see. Ace of Pentacles, scared to give this a chance. This dragon right here is very anxious. So even they message you and they talk to you, you don't even know how to handle it. You're a strong person. You. I'm pretty sure you're like a superwoman, superman, whatever you want to call yourself as a super, but you're just a super. Oh, I like that in my mattress with the theme today. Um, but when it's about this person, the anxiousness, the butterflies, the nervousness, the craziness just comes out of nowhere. This is actually, because the temperance is here, connected to a past life. Oh, I think I did this before to you also. That's why sometimes we get this feeling of uncertainty because it's bringing out past karma and it's very intense. Temperance is a soulmate. So you have a very intense karma with this person. That's why it can just make you go crazy or anxious if you don't want to call it crazy. They have dug deep. Okay, this is a two of ones. They have hit, not, that, not that they hid something from you, meaning they just dug deep and now they're ready to show to you what their true intentions is. So that's a good one. That's a good one. You will entertain them with Ace of Pentacles. You will grant them an audience, which means you will you will show up to, to their life. Okay? Man. Hermit, this is unlike you. Okay. Because you're so scared of being alone, but you're also so scared of being with them. When I say alone, like, like let's just say growing old alone or some sort of like fear of missing out. Like, oh, I never had a good relationship, this and that. So you always look at yourself like this. Okay, because this hermit right here is not a hermit looking for um, the answers. You know, this is more of like nervous kind of hermit. You can see it terrified actually from reality, but your person is just expressing themselves. <gasps> okay, <laughs> sorry, 
get carried away there. Strength card. If you see here closely, this is someone being like struggling to express how your person, okay, will express themselves. They will tell you that I am having hard time expressing the truth to you, but this is what I want to say. 30 days it took me. I was down to zero. I have nothing. But then I worked with a PIAO and then I saw results. It has increased my business, my focus, and it has removed a lot of negativity in my life. And I needed that, especially like I'm coming from nothing. Now, I mean, look at it. I have the store from nothing. Four years running now. It's doing amazing. If you're manifesting something right now, go to our website, www.eatreadlove.me and find that PIAO that connects with you. This is what I want to say. That's your person saying, okay? So opening up, this is building up basically. For you, it's just like, it's just too much suspense at this point. The whole conversation is kind of like walking on thin ice and you don't know where it's going. See more. Okay, something significant is about to manifest here. What I'm seeing for you, oh, and also, if you're one of those people who has been seeing 1111, like what I mentioned, have you ever wondered what it means? And if you don't know, let me share with you. 1111 is a, is a number of manifestation. It's a number of angel number divine, uh, from the divine, and it's an angel number. This is when it comes out out of nowhere, right? And you can always see it every day, you know, or every other day. Even the same day, you can see it twice, of course. Um, it's just an atonement to you that you're on the right path. Don't be scared. Keep going. Like, for example, today, I made sure, I said, it's like, today, I will only make one bracelet that is called the 1111, okay? Super 7 a bracelet with real jade right here. This is free, okay? If you get any of our 1111 collection right there, our money ball, real gold piao, it comes with multifaceted different kinds of crystal for everything that you're manifesting, okay? So you have a whole collection down there. I'll, I'll share more. Now, this is free shipping in the U.S., of course. It's available, and we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Why Super 7, you ask me? One of the strongest crystals that I've ever worked with, besides Small Divide, Libyan Desert Glass, Herkimer, is Super 7. Now, Super 7 has seven crystals inside it. Rose Quartz, uh, sorry, not Rose Quartz, Amethyst, Clear Quartz, Smoky Quartz, and the list goes on. Rutilite Quartz, um, Le Creux de Site, I cannot pronounce it. So all this has different kinds of manifestation, okay? That energy-wise. So put it all together in one zone, it's very intense. And that's why if you're manifesting something intense, meaning love, relationship, soulmate, or career, like it's, it requires a lot of energy, this is the go-to. I've worked with it, but it's, some, it's just too strong. That's why you don't see me wear it every time because it's just so strong. Now, the jade part, of course, I always wear jade. And this is something from me that I've experienced a lot already. <laughs> like I never remove my jade. So this is to manifest wealth, prosperity, healing also, and love. That's jade right there. It's very soothing. It's very calming. Um, you know, you just can't make a pearl ring. It's a, for me, jade is like a kind of like a pearl also. But jade is a jade, okay, of course. So, but vibration-wise, that's how I feel connected with it. Um, so you can check it out now, of course. And I know people always ask, can you teach us longer with these videos? about how to manifest. Every day I will teach you guys, so don't worry, okay? Because I have to go and proceed with the read. <laughs> or else I'll be talking every day with crystals here. Mm -hmm. So make sure to take advantage. Oh, it's, again, did I mention? It's 50% off and the other one is free. The 1111 bracelet. I'm only making this today. The time that you're watching it on November 11, 1111. And then, I'll, you know, I'll make it again next year. But that's it after today. I'm not making it anymore. That becomes, you know, it's like I'm a mystic, so. I believe in its aligning of time. So today, the time is 11 11. Hmm. The time and date. The Fool, 50 50. Like I told you, something is about to turn. You will talk to your person, Eight of Wands with Eight of Pentacles, a discussion on how to work the relationship. You will discuss this. They're kind of surprised that you're open to talk. Wheel of Fortune and Six of Wands. Someone is looking for, um, how do you call this? Like success in this connection. I feel like it's them. So they're looking for a successful reconciliation. Strength is being courageous. But here's the thing though. 
there's something, Nine of Pentacles, that they're not telling you. Nine of Pentacles is wearing a mask here. And that's 50-50, meaning either they tell you or they don't tell you. But I'm not sure if you're going to give them a chance. And because the full card is more of like either playing it safe, there's something that your person is not really expressing here. Okay. You will get surprised with this one. Something about them, like let's just say they've been thinking and thinking and thinking, and now they're ready to be honest with you. So let's find out more. Link in the description box below for the extended. What is this grand revelation that your person is about to do? Hold on, hold on. You're here already, and I have a free class for manifestation of love and money. And if you are serious, there's a free class in the description box below. Join me and learn more on how to manifest with a real gold PL.